Hi everyone and welcome back to the vlog. This is Susie from Sea Salt and Stitches. Thanks so much for joining me again. So I am here today to introduce a series of videos that I've been working on. I'm really excited about sharing them with you. Um, it all stems from um, me wearing this jumper in a few of my previous vlogs. Um, and I've, I had a few comments of people asking, did you make that jumper and uh, what pattern did you use? And I had to reply and say, no I didn't. It um, was a present from a shop, <laughs> not handmade. But looking at it, I realized, you know what? It is a very simple shape. It's a drop shoulder, um, straight um, jump sided jumper, um, long sleeves, um, I'm calling it a cowl neck. I'm not sure, it's maybe in between a polo neck and a cowl neck, it's not really a polo neck. Um, and I thought, you know what, that is very similar to a pattern that I have seen. And I thought I could probably make a version of this doing a little hack from that pattern. And that pattern is the Grain Line Hemlock Tee. And you know what guys, it's a free download, so I'll put the link down below to how you can get it yourself. And what, once I started looking at it, I realised, you know what, there's quite a few different hacks that you can do to this particular pattern to recreate other t-shirts that I've seen on the high street um, or on Pinterest. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a little series for you guys um, and do tutorials on how you can do these different hacks to the Grainline Hemlock Tea and recreate these different styles yourself. So as I said, this is just the introduction video. I'm gonna be following up with four different hacks that you can do, each one gets its own video. Um, so the first one I'm gonna be doing is a version of this t-shirt here that I found on Pinterest. So it's basically just a short sleeve version of the Hemlock Tea. And in that video, I will talk you through every single step on how to make the hemlock tee, how to draft the um, shorter sleeve piece, how, and then how to sew it up um, step by step. And the second video in the series is recreating this cowl neck jumper. So in that video, I will show you how to take the neckband piece that comes with the hemlock tee and create the pattern piece for a cowl neck instead. I'll talk you through um, exactly how to do that and give you the measurements so that it's exactly the same size as this one if that's what you want, but you can make it any size you like. And then because I've done already done the full step-by-step um, -step, um, tutorial in the first video, I will then um, sort of do a more speedy, speedy version, but then whenever I get to the cowl neck section, I'll talk you through that bit, but the rest will just be sort of sped up so that it doesn't take up as much time. If you do want the this, step-by-step this -step instructions, then you can refer to the first video or just the instructions that come with the Grain Line um, Hemlock um, t-shirt because they're very, very um, comprehensive and easy to follow as well. Don't forget that, guys. So then in the third video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this t-shirt or similar. It depends on what fabric to use. So that's a color block hack, which is pretty cool. Um, and I've chosen two uh, really nice fabrics that I think go together quite well. And again, I, it won't be a full step-by-step -step tutorial. I'll tell you, I will do step-by-step -step on how to draft the pattern pieces for the top part and the bottom part. And then when I get to sewing them together, I'll show you how to do that as well. And then everything else will be um, more sped up as well. And then finally, for the fourth video in the series, I'm going to be doing something similar to this picture or this picture. I couldn't actually find a picture that was exactly um, how I uh, have made this uh, ruffle sleeve hack. But uh, yeah, so as I said, um, a really cute little ruffle that's added to the drop shoulder here. Um, and it's really simple to recreate and again I'll talk you through exactly how to draft that pattern piece and how to sew it on to the, um, the Great Line Headlocks. So I'm really thrilled with how these um, hacks came out um, and I'm so excited to share them with you. If you're interested in trying any of them I will be having the links for all the different um, hacks in the description box down below but I've also created a playlist so if you've clicked on the playlist the net the first one will be starting to play right after this bye guys <laughs> 